President Truman meets with Secretary of Agriculture Anderson and Director General of UNRWA, Fiorella LaGuardia. With the world food shortage reaching crisis proportions, the President speaks to America. Again, I strongly urge all Americans to save bread and to conserve oils and fats. These are the most essential weapons at our disposal to fight famine abroad. Every slice of bread, every ounce of fat and oil saved by your voluntary sacrifice will help keep starving people alive. At Climax, Minnesota, citizens and wheat farmers of this rich agricultural community gather to see Fiorello LaGuardia receive a symbolic sack of wheat and to hear the UNRWA director's plea for more grain for a starving world. 700,000 tons monthly is the quota set by UNRWA for the next four critical months. Farmers of the wheat belt are pouring their surplus into famine relief freight cars. Even though the grain elevators disgorge a fantastic golden stream, famine edges ahead in the grim race. Former Mayor LaGuardia is mobilizing every food producing agency in the Western Hemisphere to save a hungry world until the next harvest season. America's Midwest carries a man-sized share of the load. At America's East Coast ports, emergency cargoes of flour and wheat are loaded. From this one terminal, 2,200 carloads of supplies were shipped abroad in one recent month. Five million tons of cereals alone are needed. The United States is determined to do its share in helping the needy of the world. United Nations Relief and Rehabilitation Director Fiorella LaGuardia is greeted in Rome by an enthusiastic crowd as he continues an overseas tour combating famine and destitution. The director loses no time in collecting data on the Italian situation, gathering facts from everyone. Italy's former movie center houses refugees who congregate to talk with Mr. LaGuardia. Throughout the world, in all war-ravaged countries, UNRWA reaches out to further world peace by relieving the sufferings of millions. The director well knows how to draw out the representatives of these multitudes. An errand of worldwide mercy. 